Hey there, hi there, ho there. Right? That's the thing? That's the home improvement? Yeah. Anyway. So, if you haven't been watching along, I'm drawing every day in October. I'm following two prompt lists. One of them is Monster Mania 2020, and the other one is Concept Tober. Today, one of the prompts is Succubus, and the other one is Ninja. So, that sounds fun, that sounds cool, that sounds sexy. <laughs> if you've been following along, I already did do a uh, Succubus drawing, but it was mixed with something else. Um, I don't think a whole lot of people read this comic, but the prompts make me think of a character in a comic book series I follow. Uh, the comic series is called Empowered, and one of the characters' names is Ninjet. She's like a ninja... She's not quite a superhero. She actually starts out as a bit of a villain but quickly becomes uh, best friends with the main character in this comic. I'll, I'll go ahead and show you a picture real quick. Okay, so this is Empowered. This is book one. Uh, this is the main character, and this right here is Ninjette. Uh, she's great. She's a lot of fun. I like her a lot. I almost want it to be a movie or a show, but uh, I would say it's at least PG-13, so... It might not uh, settle with everyone's tastes. I don't know. Anyway, here's another good drawing of her. She's so cool. She's so fun. So yeah, she's going to be a bit of an inspiration. I don't know if that's going to... I don't know how much of a difference that's going to actually make. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and draw the... Uh, I'm going to start out by drawing uh, thumbnails of, like, the pose and think about exactly what I want from this character and character design and drawing and... You know? Anyway. Yeah. First thing that comes to mind is almost like the, the superhero landing thing, where it's like... Something like that. That's a foot. That's a foot. That's a hand. That's a hand. Yeah. <laughs> Which isn't the worst pose. But, um... I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna look up some ninja poses. Okay, so this is supposed to be a shoulder, but right now it looks like a hunch. And I gotta be honest, I don't know exactly what I'm doing wrong right here, but I'm doing it wrong. The arms actually look okay. Maybe it's the neck? The boobs definitely look strange. I don't know if it's the angle or if I'm just drawing it wrong. I'm gonna look at my reference and see if I can figure it out. But right now, something ain't right. Not entirely sure what, but something. Also, I did not have much luck thickening those fingers and making that look better. Maybe the fingers will just be a little bit off, you know? 
Okay, so this is the reference. Now, because this guy's wearing, like, this hood, it makes sense that maybe I'm having some difficulty in translation. I think I need to drop the shoulder more, because this hood thing that he's wearing probably uh, smooths that edge. Or maybe sharpens that edge, make it more pointy? I don't know. But I know that I could work on it to try to make that better. So that's what I'll try to do. So, um, I pointed this out before, but I don't know, maybe we are gonna cut it, I don't know. If you notice here, he's wearing like the in-between socks kind of thing. I'm sure that's not what it's called. I'm sorry, I don't know the official terms of anything. But as you can see, his foot's pointing this way. And the other one, you can't see any white. Which means it's pointing away from the camera. Now, as I said before, that's weird. Because that would mean that this is his butt. And then he's facing mostly toward us. I was thinking of flipping this foot so that it maybe makes a little more sense. So it's more like this foot right here, you know? It's just that that would be his butt, like, right here. And that's quite a turn. You know what, maybe it just needs to be moved to the side a little more instead of right in the center where I was originally imagining it. Oh, I don't know. On my girl, I'm gonna try and draw it to the side here, and maybe that makes sense. You know what? I'm gonna try to do this pose really quick. <laughs> That's my solution. Oh! Okay, so from a very quick try of this pose, I can say this is possible with your chest turned mostly this way and your body turned mostly that way uh but not comfortable and probably not the best way to sneak frankly so i'm gonna flip the foot I think I've overworked these hands to heck. I don't think they're the worst hands I've drawn in the world, but, uh, man, maybe sometimes you just should take what you got, you know? I don't know. I also need to practice, and art is definitely partially about taking chances. You're gonna ruin some stuff. But you're gonna learn more from what you ruin than what you don't ruin. It's good to ruin stuff. And sometimes you can save it. Let's do this. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna go. Who knows? Maybe I'll regret it. Like I said, you gotta, you gotta take chances to get good at it. Keep drawing the same style, the same stuff. How are you gonna improve? How are you gonna change and adapt? Maybe you don't want to change, but... I don't know. Is valuable, okay? Okay. Uh, like I said, I don't know how this part's gonna go. I haven't done this before. <laughs> I don't- I mean, not quite like this, anyway. 
Uh, not with ink. I've kind of done this with watercolor like once, but that was before the drawing was done. I just did splashes of color and then made a drawing out of it. Um, this is kind of the reverse. Uh, okay, I kind of want to close my eyes to do this, but I'm gonna fight that urge. Please, goddess of art, make this a good risk, not a bad one. Mm -hmm. That's a choice. We could do it as a background. No, 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 don't. I'm gonna close my eyes. I wonder if you're scared as I am. Whew. Ooh, that's not great. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, um, so with that, uh, I think we're about done. I can't erase the pencil marks that are under the yellow ink, so that's unfortunate. Okay, um, and I think with that, we are done. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you have a good day.